It was great. Uh, the atmosphere was great. Uh, the weather was perfect. Uh, the ex players were extremely excited for the, uh, the opportunity to play Georgia. Uh, they understand uh, the great uh, rivalry uh, that we have with them. They're excited to play. You had a chance to go back and watch Jonathan and, and, and watch the film. What, mm -hmm. what did you see out of him uh, that, you, that you liked the last Saturday? Yeah, he started out slow. There was uh, five mistakes in the passing game that he had in the, uh, in the first half, all of which uh, were, are correctable. Um, he'll learn from those mistakes, two of which probably had opportunities to score. Um, but in the second half, it was really re uh, refreshing to watch a guy that struggled in the first half be able to rebound and play a very good second half. Is that two of which had an opportunity to score with those? Just not finding the right guy? Or... Uh, there was, uh, the, in the interception, uh, we threw into uh, double coverage when we had Emery Blake on the V-cut. Uh, probably not a score, but at least a 22-yard gain. And then uh, we missed Sammy on, a, on the vertical on the, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the second quarter, I believe it was. We missed him on the vertical. Scott, how do you, a young guy like that that's experienced all this stuff for the first time, how do you prepare him for how different it's going to be this Saturday than it's, it was last it, Saturday? It's the first thing that I said to him uh, walking off the field. I've had the opportunity to play these guys twice, and they're super athletic. They're super fast. There's probably six to eight NFL players on that defense. They close quickly, and uh, we've really made an emphasis of how important it is to make a decision, get the ball out of your hand, because those, those throw windows are going to close quite differently compared to what they did uh, last Saturday. Do you expect, obviously, that they're going to try to pressure him early? Yeah, they're a pressure-oriented defense. They, uh, it doesn't matter uh, who they're playing, they're pressuring. Uh, and then they also have the ability, they're very multiple, they have multiple coverages in the back door. Uh, they create problems. Uh, they're very well coached. Uh, my hat's off to them. They're uh, they're good. They're good defense. So they're really good defense. How about a guy like like Jarvis Jones and the problems he presents with the multiple things he can do? Yeah, they uh, they're a three four <coughs> personnel oriented team. He, uh, he plays DN. He plays Sam, Sam linebacker. At times he stand up. He's at will. They play him all over the place. He he's a problem player. Uh, he's going to play on Sundays for sure. Uh, he has the ability to rush the passer. He's got multiple moves on his pass rush, yet he can also drop into coverage. He is uh, very good, and he's a problem player. Anything else? Any of the young, <coughs> young guys uh, step up and have a, a good game on homecoming? It was nice to see uh, Ricardo get a catch. Uh, we tried to get him a, uh, a deep over uh, earlier in, uh, in the third quarter. Uh, we were forced to, uh, to throw it away. But it was nice to see Ricardo get a catch and advance the ball. I think it was a 20-some-odd yard gain. And then obviously T. Reed catching the, uh, the jerk on the middle linebacker. Uh, that, was, that was nice to see him to be able to catch the ball and advance it. Uh, it was good to get some other guys the ball. And uh, they're our future, and uh, we've got to keep developing. The run pass balance that was this past week, obviously much more heavily on the run. Is that really what you are striving for? Is that the, the kind of. Yeah, we got to run the ball. Uh, we're not a, uh, a team that's going to drop back and throw it 30 times. We're not at that point yet. Um, but uh, we want to we wanna be uh, a run, run oriented team with the ability to throw play action pass, take our shots. And uh, we're definitely going to have to control the ball in this game. Uh, their, their offense is obviously very good, and uh, we got to keep the ball in our hands, uh, get the ball to the fourth, get the game to the fourth quarter, and find a way to win. Gene talked about how at the halftime it was pretty clear New Mexico State was putting eight nine guys. Yes. In the box. You guys decided to run it anyway. But obviously, different personnel with Georgia. But would that be the same type of thing? Do you guys have to run the ball even when they do stack the box? You got to find creative ways to try to find a way to block that eighth and ninth man uh, defender, but uh, you got to take your shots also. Um, uh, anytime they're stacking this type of safeties that they have in the box, they're going to they're going to make tackles. So you definitely have to take uh, advantage of whenever they're playing eight and nine man hats.